हेलो ऑल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द रिवैम्प्ड वर्जन ऑफ चित्रलेखा चित्रलेखा एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियोस इज एन एआई बेस्ड ओपन सोर्स प्लेटफॉर्म टू परफॉर्म वीडियो ट्रांसलेशन फॉर वेरियस इंडिक लैंग्वेजेस इट सपोर्ट्स ऑटोमेटिक ट्रांसक्रिप्शन ऑफ वीडियोस टू रेस्पेक्टिव टेक्स्ट कैप्शंस एंड ट्रांसलेटिंग देम इनटू सबटाइटल्स व्हिच कैन बी प्रूफरेड बाय रिव्यूअर्स और ट्रांसलेटर्स अंटिल नाउ Chitralekha was working more of a tool for video translation using the ML models. Today, we are happy to introduce Chitralekha as a platform which supports a variety of features including project management hierarchy and a clear set of defined roles. We do have a make a checker process for each type of task. These functionalities enable better management of the video annotation framework to collaborate as a team. Now since the Chitralekha platform is driven by tasks it can easily accommodate any kind of post processing activities like including voice over or image overlay in target language as part of the revamp we have also used certain ui frameworks libraries state container etc to build a scalable and robust front end let's quickly discuss the qualities of a good transcription ecosystem First is the support for various kinds of input sources like YouTube or any other video platform or even from local. Next is the need for the maker checker process for ensuring the review process. This also should ensure a collaborative system where projects can be efficiently managed. As a final point there should be support for other additional utilities like transliteration to smoothen and quicken the process. Let's now see how Chitralekha fits in this ecosystem. Let's now look at the project management hierarchy defined in Chitralekha. For performing any kind of video processing task, an organization is required to be created. An organization can typically be a company, an entity, a community or a group who would be doing or planning to do considerable video translation tasks. Once an organization is created, logical groupings can be done under what we call a project. The organization owner can decide the basis for the projects. It could either be based on the language of the videos or the subject or the domain or any other logical dimension which makes sense to group a set of videos under it. Now let's quickly talk about the roles which are critical to ensure the members that are able to perform the assigned task. Broadly the roles are defined based on the project management structure at the highest level we have the admin role who can help with the creation and deletion of the organization and also have the power to update user profiles based on the recommendation from the manager of a project next is the organization owner role who can invite new members to his organization they can also create new projects and assign the respective managers for these organizations Next is the project manager role who can add a video to a project and also add members to the project. The main job of this role is to create tasks and assign them. The next set of roles are all associated with the task and are job specific. For example, a transcript editor can edit a transcription task and a transcript reviewer can review or edit the work of transcript editor for the same transcription task. In a similar fashion a translation editor can edit a translation task and a translation reviewer can review or edit the work of translation editor for the same translation task the universal editor is a special role which is used in use cases where the entire pipeline of task from transcription to translation needs to be performed by a single member Now let's get into the demo and see how these project management hierarchy and roles are being used. An admin has the permission to create a new organization. As of now, we have already created an organization called AI for Bharat. We'll log in with the account that is associated with the organization owner role. Here we can view all the projects that the org owner has created. Since we want to create a new project, let's click on add new project and fill in some basic information about this new project, including the title, description and the managers who are going to manage the project. Now that the new project is created, we'll add members to the project. For that, let's view the newly created project, then click on add project members 
and select the appropriate members. So far, these activities were being done under the org owner role. Project members can also be added by the project managers. Now let us add a new video under this project. For this, we have to log in with an account which is associated with the project manager role. Once we log in, we see the list of projects that the project manager has access to. Click on the view button on the selected project and then create a new video. We just need to select whether we are going to import a video or an audio. Then select the language of the input video and paste the URL. Once we have created a new video, it gets listed under the videos tab and we do see some action buttons associated with it that are view, create task and delete. Clicking on the view button will give us a preview of the video and also the list of all the associated tasks. The create task button allows us to create a task which could either be a task of transcription edit and review or a task of translation edit and review. The delete button as the name suggests is used to delete a particular video. We need to specify the task type and select the required action for the selected task. Assign an user, provide a short description and optionally we can even set a priority and the ETA for the task to be completed. Once all these details are completed, please create the task. Currently, we have created a task whose type is transcription and action is edit. Now that we have seen how to create a task under the project manager role, we will start working on the actual task, that is transcription editing in this case. For that, we will first log in with the account which has the transcription editor role associated with it. Click on the view button of the selected project and go to the task tab. Now click on view which brings up the compare screen. This gives us the flexibility to dynamically choose the transcription source which can act as a base for our edit. It could either be original source which represents the transcript that YouTube generated or machine generated which generates the subtitles using the internal machine learning model. It could also be manually created from scratch without any reference. For now, to demonstrate the comparison, let's select original source and machine generated and click on compare. Over here, we also have the option to add or delete any transcription source based on whichever source we are wanting to compare. The editor can go through these transcripts and select the one which seems to be more accurate and submit. This takes us to the main editing window. Briefly describing the panes, we see that the major area shows the video along with the edited subtitles. On the right panel, we can see the editing cards. Each card has a sentence or phrase and the associated timing. Here, we can make any corrections to the transcripts and also adjust the time. There is an option to merge or split the subtitles wherever required. We can even delete a transcript card that is not needed. Any editing will trigger autosave, but the editor can also explicitly click on the save button to persist the changes. We also have an option to split directly by clicking over the video subtitle in the main panel as well. The bottom pane shows the timeline view which maps the timing and the respective subtitle for a given block. We also have the feasibility to find and replace specific words. Once we are done with all the edits, we can finally click on complete to close the task, after which either a transcription review or a translation edit task can be created. Finally, we have an option to export the subtitles in various formats. Now to create a translation edit task, we need to be logged in with the manager role and click on the create new task button. Enter the details and assign the task to the user with the translation editor role. We will now log in into the account with the translation editor role and view a particular project and click on task. Identify the assigned translation task and click on view. Select the appropriate translation source and proceed. Similar to the transcription editing window, a window comes up for the translation editing as well. The only difference is on the right panel. 
which contains parallel cards to show verified source language transcripts and the reference target language transcripts. The translation blocks can be edited with the transliteration support. The find and replace feature also has the transliteration support. So far, we have seen how new tasks can be created and edited. The similar task can be created for the translation review as well. We are currently working on new features to enhance the editing pipeline. Stay tuned for further updates. Thank you.